So hello YouTube, we have a SPID Android system in this car. I have this car only for a few days. I'll be showing you how to install or rather enable Android Auto on this basic Android player. From the factory, as you can see, this does not come with Android Auto. So you have a couple of apps pre-installed. So you have Disney Hotstar, Netflix, Phone Link, Maps and all those things. So Maps work maps take a long time to load actually if you can see it takes approximately 30 to 35 seconds so it's still loading this can be a bit frustrating when you're driving so we'll try and install android auto on this let's quickly go back by default you have phone link this only supports screen mirroring it does not support android auto so basically everything on your phone gets projected onto your android player and you will have to control everything via your phone so if your phone is in portrait mode the display will be in portrait mode and landscape if it's in landscape so that's it that will not work so i have a couple of apps on this uh, usb drive links to all those apps will be in the description among this usb only one supports android auto the other one supports charging but not android auto so i've just put a installation tape to mark that port also, the description of this device says this is 2GB, 32GB. But if I quickly go to CPU Z, this shows the specifications of the device. I will share a screenshot for you to read more clearly. But if you go to the device, uh, this is an unbranded Chinese unit, but it says the manufacturer is SPRD. It's a 720p display and the RAM is not 2GB, but 1GB. But the internal storage is 32 GB, so you get 27.5 GB for usage. If you see the system in the settings, I will show you it says Android 13, but this is actually Android 8.1. So if I quickly go to the settings and I go to more, if I go to system and then go to about device, it says that it's Android 13, it is not. And uh, yeah, everything is basically false, they're just putting some information. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Before we proceed, what we'll have to do is we'll have to go to settings and then we will have to go to about and it will show you information. Notice it says 32 GB and 2 GB. It is not. It's 1 GB and 32 GB. And just scroll down and select detection update. This normally will be up to date. In case it is not, just click on the version and just update it. Okay, This one is the latest version. But most importantly, you have to update the MCU and it will show an update. I have just recently updated it. It says I am on the latest version. So this is a TS7 unit made by SPRD. So let's quickly go back. So before we proceed, first thing you'll have to go to your device and connect the Wi-Fi to a hotspot on your phone. So create a hotspot on your phone and connect your Android device to that and also connect the Bluetooth. If you can see, it says plug and play. This is the name of this Android player that is connected to the head unit. Then you have to enable play services. Make sure permissions for everything is enabled and then go back. So this is done. Since this is having only one GB RAM, I will be clearing all the unnecessary apps. If I scroll down, I select USB and then I have to select the APK. So this Agama launcher is the, this is actually paid up, but the, this version is a cracked version. I will show you what options it gives you. Let me quickly go ahead and install all the apps first. So after Agama, then we have SD CarPlay. This particular app is required in case you have to enable CarPlay on your head units. At the moment, this one only supports wired Android Auto. Then we have, uh, this is the most important app, Head Unit Reloaded. This is again a paid app, but this is a cracked version. Let's quickly install this. Done. And then I will install the Steelink app later. I'll show you why. Then you have uh, the Z-Link app. These are available in the App Store on this unit, but I will be installing a different version. I will tell you why. Okay, let's quickly go back. So these apps are installed. As you can see, you have the Agama Car Launcher. You have the Head Unit uh, Reloaded. You have SD CarPlay. This one does come with the App Store. So if you scroll here, you have 
do fun play. You have a couple of apps that show up over here. Just go to class and then you have the T-Link 5. You have to click on install and it will install the APK. I'll show you why I'm not using this app in a minute. Okay, done. And what else? So you have a couple of apps. You have Disney Hotstar that's available on the App Store, but you can install it from Google Play Store. You have Google Maps that is already installed. You can install Twitter. YouTube is installed. You have Waze app for navigation, but I use Google Maps. So, okay, so we'll go back. And since Agama car is already installed, I'll click on Agama and I'll click on Always so that it becomes the default car launcher. So this is what the Agama launcher looks like. You have a couple of things on the screen itself. You, it shows you the Wi-Fi signal. It will show you the GPS signal once you connect your phone to it. This is the temperature. This comes from, again, GPS. It will check the temperature for your region. This is your phone app, internet apps, apps to open all the apps installed on this. Everything here is customizable. You can rename them. You can change the icon. Uh, you can even change these to select the logo and all those things from the settings. And this is a Hyundai Gets. So let's scroll down and select Hyundai logo. It'll download the logo and it'll download the logo and you have it over here. It You can also display that your speed. It'll show you actual car speed via GPS or you can select music or you can select compass or navigation or you can just set it as time so i'll leave it as time for now so let's quickly go to apps let's go to the app that comes with the device the t-link 5 app allow it to modify the settings go back on my phone, I will go to the Z-Link app. This is the Z-Link Plus, and this is what it looks like. And I select a wireless connection. I have to, okay, if connected, I have to enable Bluetooth tethering. And then I start screen projection. Start now. So this is what it looks like. Okay, let me open YouTube. I'll just open some. So this is what it looks like. And see, every time you change the orientation, it changes on the head unit. And this is not ideal when you're driving around. So let me quickly go back and uh, Z plus. Okay, go to Z plus and click on disconnect. Go back and let me close this app. That is the reason I'm not using a uh, T-Link 5 app. Let me go ahead and uninstall it. So process is simple. Delete app and done. Now I will go back to APK installer and install the T-Link 5 that I have. So I'll install this app. So before we start Android Auto, we'll go to the settings settings and then click on more then select apps and then we'll select each of this apps that we installed and make sure we have given all the necessary permissions okay let's go to head unit reloaded and make sure that you give location microphone phone and storage and what else um dealing five do the same thing in case it's not enabled you enable that even android auto make sure that you give all the permissions so that you don't get an error when driving around okay uh, google play services 
so make sure that everything is enabled and what else allowed okay to head to not reload it and make sure you have allowed it to display over other settings into data okay okay close this up okay now to enable android auto i will have to disconnect this usb and uh, this is connected to my phone so i'll connect it to the usb and as soon as you do that on your phone you'll get a prompt you select android auto and then you will get this so select to open head unit reloaded by default so click on ok and this is the first setup that you'll have to do first when you install head unit reloaded so give it all the access since i've already given it since this one is uh, just 1 GB unit, I'll keep it at a minimum 800 by 480 and I'll leave at 150. I will not increase that and just click on start test. It will show you a demo. This is what the Android Auto will look like. And then you need to click on yes and then done. So, so that's how it is. Okay, let's close it. But you can see it is wired and it is playing Spotify and it is showing the details of everything. So let me quickly show you the Google Assistant also works. Navigate to Bangalore. Navigating to Bangalore. Head south, then turn right. Okay, so this is working. Again, you can check all the apps that are installed that will work with Android Auto. You have google news messages telegram spotify whatsapp and everything youtube will not work because it is not safe to use youtube when you're driving but youtube does come natively installed on this device it goes off so the wireless thing will not work the firmware on this device needs to be updated i've not got a compatible firmware yet but the good thing is if your phone does not support wireless charging it's better to use a wired Android Auto because your phone will be charging. Wireless Auto takes a lot of battery. So unless you have wireless charging, wired Android Auto makes more sense. About this Agama launcher, you can customize these. Press and hold the button and select the app that you want to link it to. And then in this case, I will select Google Maps. And then close. So this, if I click now, will open. Google Maps. So the Google Apps takes around 35 seconds to open, so I'll not be using that. So I don't need internet when I'm driving, so I will just rename this. I will change it to Android Auto. Close. And then I will link this to an app that will be Head Unit Reloaded. And then I click on Close. In case I close Android Auto, I can always just open it from here and it'll open. And then I can select what what layout I want. This is the ideal layout when you're driving. So I'll just close this. And then I would advise you to use Spotify Lite instead of Spotify because it takes less RAM to run. But the quality will be just basic. So let's quickly go ahead and install that. Spotify Lite loads a bit faster than Spotify. But with Spotify, you get high quality music in case you have subscribed to premium subscription. With Spotify Lite, it will just be the basic quality. So let's just quickly install and I will show you what has to be done. So once it's done, you just open the app and then. Uh, since I had already logged in on this device, it has automatically logged me in. You basically have to create a Spotify account on the PC or on your phone and then just use that to log in. You cannot create login on this device. You have to have an account that has been made previously. You have to log in with your either Facebook account, your phone number or an email ID. 
you cannot use google login so this is how it is your so let's just play something top 50 global or viral 50 global so i will not play any further to avoid copyright infringement let's quickly close this and then in music i will now link the app spotify light and close uh, that's about it this has been the basic setup i'll quickly show you again the uh, working of android auto on this device so i've connected my phone and i select android auto here and it should show up there it is and the google assistant or maps everything works much faster through the android auto because it runs on your phone instead of on the device so again this is a unbranded chinese 1 gb 32 gb unit and i have just installed android auto on this device in case you have any questions please leave it in the comment section below if you have liked the video just give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family in case anyone needs any help and hopefully i will see you back on my channel again take care and bye bye